demo uh, voice attack profile I created called Cedar. So uh, we'll get started with that. Hello. Hello. Hello, Admiral. Set pilot title to Captain. Affirmative, sir. Display power. Affirmative, Captain. Full power to weapons. Prioritizing power to weapons. Full power to shields. Prioritizing power to shields. Full power to engines. Prioritizing power to engines. Set master power to 90%. Approximating your requested power setting. Set master power to 80%. Approximating your requested power setting. Set master power to 20%. Approximating your requested power setting. So depending on which setting you want to go for on the master power, it'll react differently. So anything above 30, it will set the power to 100% and then decrease it from there. Uh, anything less than 30, uh, it's going to start by zeroing the power and then increasing. Display shields. As you wish, sir. Full power to rear shields. Increasing power to rear shields. Increase power to forward shields 30%. Increasing power to forward shields. Increase power to forward shields 60%. Refreshing power shields. to forward shields. Alright, so that's pretty close. Uh, there's some presets we can get into, so. Combat mode. Assuming the combat configuration. Increasing forward shield power. Prioritizing power to weapons and shields. Defensive mode. Shields. Shields. Defensive Defense configuration. Refreshing. Increasing shields. rear shield power. Prioritizing power to shields and engines. Alright. Switch coupled mode. Coupled mode disabled. Switch coupled mode. Coupled mode enabled. Alright, now I'm gonna trigger that myself on the keyboard and uh, use the built-in error correction. So issue the command and it will correct itself. Enable coupled mode. Coupled mode is already enabled. Should I adjust my system parameters? Yes. Coupled mode enabled. Now, uh, part of the function is it actually executes the command after making the correction. Uh, that's something you can turn off, so we'll try that. Uh, disable corrected command execution. Corrective execution disabled. So we'll try that same thing again. Enable coupled mode. Coupled mode is already enabled. Should I correct my system assumptions? No. Okay. So it accepts yes or no. Uh, we'll give it a try again. Enable coupled mode. Coupled mode is already enabled. Do you believe that is incorrect? Yes. Coupled mode disabled. Switch coupled mode. Coupled mode enabled. Okay, so there we go. Switch to chaff. Chaff, countermeasure, active. Switch to flares. Flare, countermeasure, active. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you will notice with the HUD, uh, when it's interacting, it actually moves uh, and displays what it's interacting with. That's something you can turn off and on. So, uh, we'll go ahead and change that. Warning, Disable four. system HUD interaction. System HUD interaction disabled. So again, we'll go on combat mode. And see how it does. Combat mode. Assuming the combat configuration. Increasing forward shield power. Prioritizing power to weapons and shields. Okay, so everything that happened before just happened in the background. So, uh, enable system HUD interaction. System HUD interaction enabled. Okay. Um, we do have some other settings to play around with. Uh, enable critical command confirmation. Critical commands will now require your confirmation before executing. Alright, so uh, let's try one. 
Eject. Eject. Are you sure you wish to eject? No. Negative. Yeah, so it will handle um, eject and self destruct in One case it overhears them. Uh, you won't, then you'll, you'll be able to turn that on. Uh, it's off by default, so just issuing the command makes it happen. But if you want to disable that, enable landing mode. Initiate landing mode. Landing enable. mode. Next landing pad. Request landing. Landing, landing request. requested. Approved. All right, so we're gonna get in there. And I'm not very good at landing, so enable automatic landing mode. Automated pilot enabled. Enabled. on landing gear. Okay, we'll Deploy. Watch it bring us down. So. Third person camera. Third person camera. Third person camera. Third person camera. There we go. <laughs> pilot camera. Pilot camera. Oh, there we are. Uh, forward camera. Forward camera. Take off. Launch adjustment. Complete. The ship parameters Landing match your raised. personal preferences. Okay. Reset power. Balancing power distribution. Set master power to 100%. Approximating your requested power setting. Reset shields. shields Balancing shield strength. So a couple of the other things it does, uh, there are the combat modes, uh, so you can lock missiles, fire missiles, uh, strafe left, confirmed sir, strafe right, as you wish captain, strafe down, confirmed, so yeah it does a one second strafe pulse for all of the main directions and all, also goes forward and back, uh, it'll decouple for those, cycle flight mode, Confirmed, sir. Uh, it doesn't have state variables for the flight mode just because there's too many unknowns. That changes pretty regularly. Uh, one of the other features I've built in uh, strafe left and hold. Strafing until you say stop. So, yeah, with that function, I can just keep going around here. As long as I want, and it's gonna hold this uh, with a failsafe of about 30 seconds. But if I wanted to just do a few seconds here, so stop, stop, confirmed, sir, straight right, affirmative. System so uh, full proportional control on the shields, display shields as you wish. Increase forward shield power 10%, increase power to forward shields 10%, increasing power to forward shields. So gives it a bit of a nudge. Set default display screen to shields. Affirmative, sir. Increase forward shield power. Increase power to forward shields 10%. Increase power to forward shields 10%. Increasing power to forward shields. Increase power to forward shields 60%. Increasing power to forward shields. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. 